Hello everyone. Welcome to Madam T Mathematic Class. Let's continue Mathematic Year 2. Subtraction of Money Part 1. Look at example 1. 90 ringgit minus 20 ringgit. Method 1. This is a bank notes of 50 ringgit. Alright. And then 20 ringgit. 50 plus 20 is 70 ringgit. And then another 20 ringgit. Plus another 20 ringgit is 90 ringgit. Okay. This is 90 ringgit. Ini adalah 90 ringgit. This one ah. 90 ringgit minus 20 minus 20 so I cancel 120 ringgit okay saya buangkan 20 ringgit so it's missing okay take away that means I take away saya keluarkan 20 ringgit so how many ringgit is left berapa yang tinggal 50 plus 20 is 70 ringgit. Okay? Or method 2, we can use a vertical form. Boleh kira dalam bentuk lazim. 90 ringgit minus 20 ringgit. Okay, we start from 1. Place value of 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 9 minus 2 is 7. And then don't forget to write RM. Jangan tinggalkan RM. Sebab ini tajuk money. Money mesti ada RM. So you will get the same answer. 70 ringgit. Example 2. 74 ringgit 80 cent minus 21 ringgit 50 cent. Okay, look at method 1. 50 ringgit plus 20 is 70 ringgit. And then plus 1 ringgit, 71 ringgit. 72 ringgit, 73 ringgit, 74 ringgit. Okay, 74 ringgit, 50 cent plus 20 cent is 70 cent. And then plus 10 cent is 80 cent. Okay, this is 74 ringgit 80 sen. Okay, bila awak jumlahkan semua wang kertas dan shilling, kamu akan dapat 74 ringgit 80 sen. Okay, minus 21 ringgit and 50 sen. So, now I take away 21 ringgit 50 sen. Saya nak keluarkan 21 ringgit 50 sen. So, 21 means that this is 20. I take out 20 and then 1. Okay, 1 ringgit and 50 cent. I cancel 1 50 cent. So, I take out this one. Saya keluarkan. So, left 50, 51, 52 and 53 ringgit. 53 ringgit and then the same is 20 plus 10, 30 cent. So, 53 ringgit 30 cent. Okay, ini yang tinggal. 53 ringgit 30 cent. Or method 2, we use vertical form, bentuk lazim. Okay, so, susun dulu. Okay, for this one, you must make sure your decimal point in the same line. Okay, pastikan decimal point ini adalah di uh, garis yang sama. Okay, macam ni. So, this is RM and then this is sen. Belakang sini adalah sen, dua digit sahaja. Alright, now, can 80 sen minus 50 sen? Boleh tak 80 sen tolak 50 sen? Boleh, okay. So, we minus 80 cent minus 50 cent is 30 cent. Okay, and then point. Okay, now, RM. Bahagian RM pula. 
4 minus 1, 3. 7 minus 2, 5. And then write RM at the front. So you will get the same answer, 53 ringgit and 30 sen. Let's look at example 3. Calculate the difference in price between the two teddy bears. Okay, the first teddy bear, the brown color one is 63 ringgit 80 cent and the pink teddy bear is 86 ringgit. So the key words is difference. Difference is bezel. Okay, bezel. So means that when you see difference, means that we need to do subtraction. Kita kena buat penolakan. Alright, when you want to minus, make sure the bigger value minus the smaller value. Nombor yang lebih besar tolak nombor yang lebih kecil. So, 63 ringgit 80 sen and 86 ringgit which is bigger? Yang mana lebih besar? Of course, 86 ringgit kan? Alright, so means that 86 ringgit minus 63 ringgit 80 sen. Now, I write in vertical form. Okay, I write like this. 86 ringgit, so I have to put 0 0.00. Okay, 86, 86 ni, saya kena letakkan 0 0.00. 0. Tambahkan 0 0.00. 0. Alright, sekarang kita mula tolak. Okay, look at sen. Tengok bahagian sen dulu. Can 0 minus 80 sen? Boleh tak? 0 minus 80. Sifa boleh tak tol tolak 80? Cannot, right? So now I need to borrow from RM. Borrow from ringgit. So this 6 I will cancel. It become 5. So now 1 ringgit I bring to sen. So, I need to convert to 100 sen. Okay, saya pinjam seringgit. Seringgit ni bila bawa ke sen, saya akan tukar jadikan dia 100 sen. Sebab 1 ringgit sama dengan 100 sen. 1 ringgit is equal to 100 sen. So, now, okay, 0 minus 0, 0. 10 minus 8 is 2. Means that 100 minus 80, we get 20. And then point. Now 5 minus 3, 2. 8 minus 6, 2. And then don't forget RM. So, the difference for the two teddy bears is 22 ringgit and 20 sen. Example 4. Alright, this one, 90 ringgit minus 53 ringgit minus again 12 ringgit 55 sen. So now I have to settle this. Saya kena kirakan ini dahulu. Okay? So 90 ringgit minus 53 ringgit. Okay, this is RM, ringgit. Alright? So when the sen... I have to put 0, 0. I have to write 0, 0 here. Saya kena tuliskan 0, 0. Okay? And then 53 also, I have to write 0, 0. Alright, now we start to minus. Okay, sin. Sin, 0 minus 0. So, of course, 0, 0. Now, can 0 minus 3? Boleh tak sifar tolak 3? Cannot, right? So, I have to borrow, pinjam. So, cancel 9. You write 8. Okay. So, yang ini pinjam macam biasa. So, this one get 10. 10 minus 3, 7. 8 minus 5, 3. So, you put RM. After that, we need to continue to minus 12 ringgit 55 sen. Sambung di bawah. Kena sambung lagi ya. Okay. This is 12 ringgit. And then sen is 55. So I write 0.55. Now, boleh tak 0 minus 55? Boleh tak sifar tolak 55? 
Tak boleh kan? Okey, so kena pinjam dengan RM. Pinjam dengan ringgit. Pinjam satu ringgit. So, this 7 will become 6. 7 ini akan berkurang tinggal 6. Satu ringgit. Pinjam ke sin 100 sin. Satu ringgit 100 sin. So, we cancel this one. We write 100. Okay, potong 0, 0. Kita tuliskan 100 sin. Now, we start to minus. 0 minus 5. Boleh tak 0 ni minus 5? Tak boleh kan? So, saya kena pinjam dengan ni 10. Alright. So, 10 tinggal 9 dan dia dapat 10. Okay. So, 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 5, 4. And then, write a point. Now, ringgit RM. 6 minus 2, 4. 3 minus 1, 2. So, write RM. Okay. So, the answer is 24 ringgit and 45 sin. That's all for today. Thank you and happy learning.